All right, today on Hack Your Content, I wanted to talk to you about the about niches, uh, the AI writing tool that I use quite a bit, and in regards to AI detection. So I did some experimentation with niches because I wanted to see what the one-click blog post that you would get from niches, how that would score in some of these AI detectors. So as you can see, I, I've written three long-form documents. They were done with one-click blog posts where I generated 10 different sections to the document. So we're looking at you know, one with a 1,353 word count, 1,277, and 1,271. So pretty standard length for, for blog posts. Typically, you might want to go a little bit, little bit longer. But the big deal is, so you've written this thing. You've used, an, used the niches one-click blog post. So how does it measure up in these AI detectors? So let's go ahead and look at this first one. It's called How to Start Fly Fishing for Trout. So here is what niches produced for me. I haven't made any edits to this whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is copy this. And we're going to see what kind of AI detection score that it gets. So the first thing I'm going to do is try the content at scale AI detector. This particular detector is free. Um, so let's drop it in and see what it says. So it's doing its thing here, going through the documentation, checking it out. And unfortunately, you can see, obviously AI, not so great. So now what I'm gonna do is take the same document, I'm gonna go into originality.ai. Now this isn't free, there is a, a cost to this, uh, but I wanted to put it in a paid tool uh, and not just use a free tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it, we'll scan it, and again, not so great, 9% original, 91% AI. So let's go back to niches. And I'm going to show you the other two, two articles that I wrote. This one is how to write a great niche blog post. I'm going to go do the same thing. Copy it. I'm going to try content at scale first. I'm going to check it, check it out here. It's going through its prediction model. And it says it's 22% real. So that's a little bit better on this post. So let's see what Originality AI says. Start a new scan. The reason I'm going through more than just um, one document is I think it's important to see some different documents. You know, sometimes you can get just a, sort of a freak score for no reason. So 3% original, 97% AI. Not so great. We're going to grab this last document here. How to start mountain biking. We'll go to content at scale, drop it in there. Want to see what kind of score it gives. Okay, 11% real, 89% fake. Obviously AI is what it's saying. So now what I wanna do is before I show you the methodology that I use to fix these posts, I'm going to take, this is the, doc, this is the same document on mountain biking we just looked at. But I went through a different workflow with niches to produce it. And once we do these tests, I'll show you what it was and how to do it. So this is AI detection test one from the mountain biking article after I went into niches and ran a different workflow. So we'll see what kind of score we end up with. And again, I just used tools and niches, and I didn't, didn't write anything myself. 100% real, zero fake. Go to Originality AI, start a new scan. 
drop the content in. Now, Originality AI has it 77% original, 23% AI. So it's probably got a more stringent model for checking things out. I mean, obviously, content at scale isn't going to use the same model as originality.ai. So that's why I wanted to show you a paid tool and a tool that was not paid. So the second uh, document uh, where I went in and redid it with the workflow was the one about the niche blog posts. So let me copy it. We're going to drop it into content at scale AI detector. Check it. And just bear with me. I know maybe this is a little boring, but I think it's important to see after the niches workflow that I did 99% real, 1% fake. So 99% human content score. Run over here to Originality AI. Put the second test document in. Scan it. So this came out with a score that wasn't quite as good as I hoped for. 50% original, 50% AI. Now, this was about a post about writing niche blog posts. I think because it's probably not as um, niche as it could be, <laughs> for lack of a better term. It's pretty generic. That might be affecting the score. Um, but regardless, it still came out better after I went through this niche's workflow I'm about to show you. So the t last document was the one about fly fishing that I wrote. And again, after running it through this niche's workflow, I'm just about to show you, you'll see how you can change your AI detection scores very easily. So again, we're going to run it through content at scale first. So you can see the outcome here. Hopefully, there we go, 100% real, 0% fake. Now again, I think the content at scale detector isn't quite as stringent as originality.ai, but let's scan the fly fishing article and see how it musters here. 73% original, 27% AI. So now you want to know, how did I do it? What did I do to change this from uh, almost 100% AI detection score to 73% original using niches? So here's the deal. I don't like to go and use a ton of different tools uh, when I'm writing things. I'd like to try to do everything in the same tool. A, it's cheaper. I don't have to buy other things. If I use free tools, a lot of times they're sort of dumbed down or I can't put as much content in as I want. There's just lots of reasons why I don't like to do that. So here's what you need to do when you, you create your one-click blog post. So when you start a one-click blog post in niches with the one-click blog post tool, Here's the secret. Enter your title. Pick how many sections you want in it. But you need to go to Advanced Settings. Here you have a tone setting. You want to make sure... I experimented with a bunch of different tones. You want to use the luxurious tone. Now write your document and do your one-click blog post. So once you've done that, and I'll just open up a, the document that I've written before. So now what you want to do is you want to rewrite each section using the niches content rewriter tool. But here's the key, when you rewrite it, I had some other things in here, I'll delete that. Make sure you rewrite it using the luxurious tone. Don't forget to do that, that's the key. So you write your one-click blog post using the luxurious tone of voice. 
And then when you rewrite each section, you grab it, copy it, dump it into text to rewrite. And what's really cool about niches is they've just, this used to only take 300 words. So, you know, you'd end up grabbing half of a paragraph, putting it in, rewriting it, then another half of a paragraph, which is really time consuming and sort of gets on your nerves. Now you can put a full thousand characters in here. So you're using, again, content rewriter tool, dumping each paragraph into it, use the luxurious tone, click get content, and then what you do is grab this, just rewrote it, and put it into the section of the document that it needs to go in. So the real key here, and I want to be clear about this, is this particular workflow does a pretty good job at fooling AI detectors. What it doesn't do necessarily is rewrite a document in a very readable way. I mean, you're the expert in your particular niche, so you need to read through this and you need to make changes accordingly if the content is either A, not factual, or just doesn't read right. So, I mean, readability is key. Now, the one nice thing about this is I think when you go through a document, after you've gone through the rewriting and the luxurious tone, so again, one-click blog post written in luxurious tone, tone of voice. Then take each section, rewrite it in the luxurious tone of voice. That's how my AI scores went from 100% detection down to 77% in originality AI. One article was 50%. You know, so once you go through each of your articles that you've written with the one-click blog post and add some of your own content in there, which adds variation, in the words and variation in the sentence links, that's even going to help you more. It's going to bring your detection scores even lower. So if you have never seen niches before, it is available. I mean, it's just a real bargain. It's available at AppSumo. So it's a one-time purchase of 59 bucks. And the nice thing about it, it's a lifetime purchase. Uh, I've been using it. The developer has continued to make lots of changes to the tool, just making it better and better. And, you know, one of the things that I saw about AI detection, people were really raving about Jasper. Jasper can beat AI detection using the Jasper rewriter tool. Well, you can get niches for $59 for a one-time purchase, a lifetime deal at AppSumo. Jasper is $59 a month. So, like I said, using the workflow that I've shown you, you should be able to get by AI detection. Um, you know, I don't know how Google in the end is going to determine uh, how they penalize websites with AI content. Um, but if, if you have something coming through at, you know, 75% or greater human written content, I would say that, you know, the chances of getting penalized are a lot less than just spitting out the content straight out of the tool without doing any of what I've shown you. Um, and, and the other thing to think about is Google is interested in having the best content about a topic. It needs to be factual. It needs to read well. It needs to provide value to the reader. So having some AI content, I don't think is going to hurt you. But again, uh, in the interest of full transparency, uh, I am an AppSumo affiliate. So if you decide to buy niches, um, just know that I do get a small commission from that sale. So I just wanted to make sure that was very clear. But again, niches is a $59 one-time purchase. I've been using it. I've been writing content with it. I've been getting ranked in Google with it. Um, so 
it does a great job and it's just a real bargain. And now that I understand this new workflow that I found uh, to help get by some of this AI detection, I think that makes it an even better, better purchase. So again, this has been Mike at Hack Your Content. I really appreciate you uh, checking this out. And please don't forget to subscribe and like. And until next video, uh, take care. Bye.